Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the reading that I promised you guys. This is going to be for all singles. Let's look into your love life. Let's see what is unfolding. Let's see what you can expect in regards to love and romance. We're going to start off with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into it. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please give us clarity for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please speak to us in regards to their love life. What can they expect? What changes or new opportunities are coming their way? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love and romance. Who's coming towards them? Let's see who's coming towards them. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get into it, Aries. We're starting off first with the star card. So... Uh, you may be dealing with a Aquarius, Seven of Cups, Three of Wands, the Hermit, Chariot, and the Sun card. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Aries. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo, a Cancer, or a Leo. Uh, keep in mind that this could be their Sun, Moon, or Rising. I see you guys uh, in the month of March, there's going to be opportunities that are going to open up for you guys, but I do see you guys making contact with someone, could be through social media, through a dating app, or um, something that starts off online. Um, and I feel like the person that you're going to be dealing with for the month of March and moving forward is uh, potentially a person that there may be some type of distancing involved. Uh, this could be that they are in a, as simple as a different city from yours. Um, for others of you, there is a bit of distancing. However, I do see that your time, Aries, or uh, I should say the, the single time for you or enjoying your singlehood is quickly coming to an end. There is definitely new opportunities that are going to be unfolding for you, new connections. I see you guys really connecting with different people. And I feel like you will get to a point of feeling like you actually have options, Aries. So don't close yourself off or don't put all your eggs in one basket would be my um, advice here, because I do see that uh, someone that initially doesn't strike you as, as someone that you would or be able to see yourself with uh, ultimately could uh, show you that they are actually uh, it's kind of like the situation of not knowing what you needed, um, because I feel like they will be revealing more of themselves than what they first initially show or come off as. Could be a person that is a bit reserved. Um, however, once they get comfortable, I do see them opening up much more to you, and you're getting a better view of their humor and personality. Um and it strikes me almost as if like a first impression, it wasn't that great. So don't be surprised if you actually do meet someone online. And it just seems like when you meet in person, it seems like you guys are a little bit off. And the only reason for that is, again, I feel that this is a person that um, needs a little bit of time for warming up and being able to let their personality shine. So Let's look into some of the descriptions. Spirit guides, ancestors, please give us some uh, descriptions of the person that's coming for Aries or that will be coming into their lives. You can give me characteristics, personality type, anything that you want to communicate or initials, please. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So we have here, we have the letter X. Could be a short, uh, short person or perhaps a person that is uh, shorter than what you usually date or what you're usually attracted to. This could be, again, it's almost a feeling of like an awkwardness, a feeling of um, not initially being extremely pulled towards them. But again, I feel like this is kind of something that you need that you weren't really aware of. So again, um, Short doesn't necessarily mean that they are in fact short or shorter than you. It just means that it they may be a bit shorter than what you're used to or accustomed to. The next card here is the W, scars and piercings and wealthy. So this could be a person that is financially stable, a person that may have piercings, 
um, or a specific piercing I'm hearing <laughs> for some of you, um, and scars. Uh, this could be, um, I feel like there is a scar that's coming through, but I feel like it's not initially on a superficial level. So it's not on their face. It's not, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be on their hand or on their, on their left arm. Um, I'm not sensing anything like huge or anything. It could be something that happened in early childhood, uh, but it is still a minor scar. Um, again, like I said, I feel very strongly that for some of you guys, this is definitely a person uh, that you're not accustomed to. There's something that's very different, um, but they are saying that uh, ultimately this is the person that will win you over, Aries. So very interesting here. Okay, now let's move on to Taurus. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope that you guys are saying prayers or sending prayers to Ukraine. Everything that's going on right now, it's just kind of, it's crazy. But, uh, you know, we just got to hope for the better. Wherever you're at, at this point in whichever part of the world, I hope you're staying safe. All right, let's get to it. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding in their love life. What can they expect? What can you communicate to us at this point in time? What is it that they need to know? Who's coming towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? All right, here we go, Taurus. We're starting off here with the Ten of Swords. We're starting off with the Devil, the Nine of Cups. Very interesting energy here. Very positive energy, you guys. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so what they're showing me here with the Ten of Swords, I feel like for the majority of you Taurus that are single, you have been going through a situation or some type of cycle that's ending or that has came to its conclusion. Um, Ten of Swords usually indicates having gone through very difficult, tumultuous um, connection with someone that was very painful, very hurtful. Um, for some of you guys, betrayal could have been involved. For others of you, uh, a very harsh and unexpected ending is what I'm hearing. However, with the devil card, the devil does represent uh, Capricorn. So you may be dealing with Capricorn energy. For others of you, I see a Cancer. I also see a Leo or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio type of energy here. Um, I feel very heavily Saturn energy. So for some of you guys, you will be dealing either with a Capricorn or someone that um, has Saturn as the ruling planet, which would be a Capricorn or an Aquarius. Um, could be their moon or their sun sign or rising sign. However, what they're showing me here is going out of this cycle that we were just speaking about, this difficult and very tumultuous cycle. Um, I feel like a lot of that learning or what you've been through kind of kept you guarded, kept you comfortable. Um, I feel that this is a defense mechanism. So for some of you guys, you're, you know, very reserved when it comes to putting yourself out there or even connecting with people. I feel like you prefer what you're accustomed to. And what Spirit is saying is you got to detach yourself and you got to unchain yourself from habit, Taurus. Um, this is the only way you're going to be able to expand your energy and to have more experiences. Nine of Cups does indicate wish fulfillment that is coming quickly and very unexpected, I want to say. Um, I feel like you guys have put in the work or you have definitely gone through a lot, like I said. Um, and through this, there was a moment in time where you were chained to the feeling of wanting to protect yourself to the point of pushing people away or not giving yourself the opportunity. However, I do see your heart space opening up, Taurus. For some of you guys, you could be at a point where you're ready uh, to not only find love, but to genuinely find a connection that is going to be meaningful and long lasting. With the strength card, you've overcame all of these obstacles and your passion is definitely being ignited. So for some of you guys, you're going to be feeling in the month of of March, um, like your sexual energy is very heightened. People uh, are going to be very drawn to you, um, wanting to get your attention, wanting to get um, closer to you or to get to know you a little bit better. 
However, I do see a definite uh, something that is going to be unfolding for you guys is the need to want to revamp the way you present yourself to the world. Um, so this could be a makeover. This could be wanting to change something up. Could be cutting your hair, dyeing it a different color, um, trying a different type of uh, clothes that maybe you're not accustomed to. Um, and I feel like this is very beautiful energy because this is giving you the opportunity to not only re-energize yourself, but to feel sexy, which is a beautiful, uh, beautiful type of energy here. I do see that there is a connection that will be built or will start to unfold. And it is a connection that is going to start off as friendship. So for some of you guys, uh, some of you guys may already have this friend in your social circle. Um, I feel like they haven't been completely like open about their interest in you. However, the month of March, uh, they're finding the courage and they're definitely going for it. They're taking their shot. Uh, for others of you, like I said, I do see that you may actually meet this person either by traveling or when you're going to a gathering or some type of social event. Um, that is very, I feel like you're hesitant about going, but definitely if any opportunities show up in the month of March uh, and you feel a little bit of resistance, definitely go with the flow because I feel like you're going to be saying this was the best night um, that you've had in a while. And I feel like it's very unexpected. So again, uh, take that opportunity. All right, let's see if Spirit can give us some of their characteristics, some of their qualities or physical features. Spirit guides, please give us clarity in regards to the person that's coming towards Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in regards to love and romance, love and romance. I feel their energy like, I feel their energy very, uh, sorry, I will definitely pull cards from the Oracle. Um, but what I'm getting is I feel their energy very like, like you're going to see them as there's something about it, about them that they come off as angelic. Um, so it could be just their energy and their, their energy space. It's very like, uh, very subtle. Uh, it is definitely a person that is not uh, flashy. I feel like they are usually the person to be behind uh, the room, kind of scoping everyone else's energy and what everyone else is doing. So I don't feel it like a very like uh, strong, powerful type of energy. However, this person is definitely going to surprise you, Taurus, because this is a person that is very, very motivated. This is a person that gets shit done. So uh, beautiful energy here. <laughs> There's something about them that you were definitely not expecting personality-wise. It could be that they come off rather passive, um, but when the need uh, arises to be social, they are like a social butterfly. All right, let's see some of the characteristics or qualities of this person. So the first thing that's definitely going to stand out for them is their humor. Um, we have the funny card here, uh, which indicates a person that has a very... Uh, very contagious type of personality. Um, very, you know, like I said, their humor is right on point. Uh, definitely a person that's going to keep you laughing. And they are definitely witty. So this is definitely a smart person, Taurus. I kind of sense that um, when I felt like they're showing me this person is like all the way to the back, just scoping everyone's energy, seeing what everyone is doing. I feel like this person is very perceptive. This is an independent person. So this is definitely a person that is uh, financially secure. It could be a person that's been in that career for quite a while, or they've been doing uh, that career for quite a while. Now I do have short here. I feel for masculine energy, um, this uh, female that's coming towards you, um, or if you are of the same sex, uh, the person that's coming towards you is usually uh, it's going to be, um, they're going to be shorter than what you're usually accustomed to, but I feel more on the masculine side, not necessarily female energy. And the letter W and the letter N. So uh, this could be their initials, this could be their middle name or last name. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go next to Gemini. Funny, funny, witty, and independent. 
I love those qualities. <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on with Gemini's. If you guys like these readings, definitely comment below, like, and share these videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you can help our algorithm. We truly appreciate it. Okay, let's get to Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit guys, please let, excuse me, let us know who's coming towards Gemini. In regards to love and romance, what can they expect? What is unfolding for them in regards to love and romance? Off the bat, Gemini, <laughs> I haven't even pulled cards and they're telling me you need to move on from your ex. Um, so I don't know what your situation is. I don't know how long you've been single. For some of you guys, uh, if you're watching this and you recently broke up, um, there is a need for you to completely let go of attachments from the past. Anything that has been unfolding in the present, um, sometimes, you know, we kind of get in our own way when we obsess over a certain outcome that we're wanting. And sometimes it's necessary to be patient. And other times it's necessary just to surrender, to let things unfold organically. If you did uh, recently break up and you're hopeful or trying to hold on to what's unfolded or trying to hold on to a partner that no longer wants to be there, Gemini, what they're telling you is it's time to move on. And I don't mean necessarily for those of you guys that recently broke up. For some of you guys out there, you've probably been single for two years, three years. Um, but there is still some type of letting go that you need to do uh, in order to fully embrace new beginnings, okay? All right, my lovelies. Let's get to it, Gemini. Let's see what's unfolding. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Oof. Nine of Pentacles and the Sun card. So you're definitely going to be dealing with someone that is extremely independent. Uh, someone that is very financially successful. So if you meet someone in March and they're a bum, or the only thing they can do is uh, take you out on some freaking coffee, they can't take you out to dinner. We're not talking about that person, okay, Gemini? This is a person that is financially stable. This is someone that is a go-getter. This is someone that may be an entrepreneur, or it may be someone that has their own or runs their own business. Um, I feel like they've really put in the work, uh, as far as everything they have, they've earned. So it's not a self-entitled asshole. It's someone that is self-made, uh, with the sun card, uh, could be Leo energy, uh, for others of you it could be an earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, what I'm hearing is I feel like you're going to meet this person, um, I don't want to say accidentally, but it's through someone that knows them. I don't feel like it's a friend. I feel like you may be around a friend that knows the person that will be introducing you to this new person that's coming into your life. That's if you're not already dealing with them. I feel that the circumstances behind how you meet is um, you may see it as like coincidence uh, because you were probably not planning to go. Uh, or you were probably planning, not planning to go out that specific day, something about that day um, that you meet this person is almost like, kind of like, it seemed like it just wasn't going to happen. And then boom, you end up going, or you end up showing up to that um, specific time and place. And that's when you meet this person, Gemini. The next card is the Prince of Cups, the Nine of Cups. The seven of pentacles. Oh, I pulled out two cards. Okay, we're going to stick with them. Five of pentacles and ten of pentacles. Okay, so this is definitely a person that has been single for quite a while. Uh, this is a person that definitely went through it. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with a, a person that is a divorcee or a widow. Um, this is a person, um, this is a person that perhaps, uh, was married or in a committed relationship. There was a separation or a breakup, um, but I am feeling a sense of sorrow, like they've dealt with this loss for quite a while. Um, so I feel like for some of you guys, uh, they could be talking about a widower uh, or someone that lost um, their, their partner. Um, and this is a person, like I said, that has been single for quite a while. And it could be because they were just not ready or they felt 
like they never wanted to substitute um, the partner or person they lost. However, they've put in the work, like I said, they've healed from that. And at this point in their life, they're not looking for anything temporary. They're looking for something long-term. They're looking to build a home. Um, so this person definitely knows what they want. All right, my lovelies, let's see. Spirits, please give us some of the qualities, characteristics, personality traits, anything that stands out about this person. Or Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. So we have the letter N, short, funny. We've been getting short a lot. <laughs> Witty the letter Y, and spiritual. So I feel like their spirituality became very powerful, very strong based on sorrow and hurt that they've been through. Um, I feel like they kind of turned a leaf. So for some of you guys, um, for some of you guys, it could be dealing with a person that completely turned their life around. Um, it's a, I feel like their, their story is a very powerful and motivating story. Um, so again, uh, I'm definitely sensing like, like they turned their life around or like they were perhaps not on the right path at some point, they felt lost and they seeked out their spirituality and they became, uh, clear headed, motivated, focused, um, beautiful energy is what I'm sensing here. Now, the short could represent a person that is shorter than what your usual type is. Um, for others of you, it could just represent that this, per this person would be considered short, like you would consider them short, whatever that means to you. Their personality, very humorous, a very funny person. Uh, I feel very strongly like this is a smart ass. Uh, so it's definitely someone that's witty for sure. Uh, beautiful energy here, Gemini. All right, so let's go to Cancer. Let's see who's coming towards Cancer. If you guys like these readings, like I said, definitely let me know, comment below. Let us know and I will continue providing. <laughs> All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see, spirits, please give us insight, clarity. Who's coming towards Cancer? Who's coming towards Cancer? partner, a person of interest who's coming towards cancer, love and romance. What is unfolding for cancer in their love life? Give us clarity and insight. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Okay, one more. There we go. All right, cancer. We're starting off here with the death card, major transformation. Uh, this can also indicate dealing with a Scorpio. Next card is the Ten of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, I see. I see where this is headed. Four of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Two of Wands. Okay, Cancer. I feel like in the past you dealt with someone that perhaps wasn't emotionally mature or wasn't ready for the type of connection or what you were looking for at this point in time. At that point in time, sorry. Um I feel like there is a revisiting of that situation. I feel like this person uh, could have potentially been an amazing partner for you. Uh, keep in mind, it is a general reading, but I feel like for the majority of you, this could be a situation that you effed up. <laughs> I don't feel like, I feel like it's not necessarily an ex. Uh, this has more to do with a person that was interested in you at some point, but I feel like you were just not ready. Now, it will not resonate with everyone. This could be that they weren't ready. Uh, it just depends. Like I said, it's a general reading. Uh, but I'm sensing very strongly like you were on the path of being distracted or perhaps wanting to chase goals and aspirations or perhaps chase a person that just was not it. Um, and I feel like this person showed up in your life at a specific time. Um where they were wanting to give you some type of stability or some type of, you know, some type of commitment, but I feel like you weren't ready. I feel like there was almost like a, 
like you've seen them in a very different light. And I feel like for some of you guys, you could have seen them as a friend only. Um, but I feel like that's quickly going to be changing. I feel like they're coming back around. I feel like they have their shit together. I feel like, because you're like, oh, really? Like, what? That does not seem like the way I knew you back then, that type of energy. Um, I feel like they really worked on themselves. They've accomplished a few things that they have every right to be proud of. And I feel like you're going to be able to see them in a very different light. I feel like the sparks are going to fly. Now, for some of you guys, this could be a person that perhaps was a friend and you knew was interested in you, but perhaps physically you felt like you weren't really attracted to them. There is something that's been like, they've been working towards. Um, it could be their, phys uh, their physical body. Um, it could be that they've transformed or changed. Um, or, you know, if, if this person was a little bit much more softer, more subtle, um, you were looking for something more intense or passionate. I feel like something has happened in this person's life that has made them more assertive, has made them more of a presence and there's something that is extremely luring about them. And I feel like you're give, you're being given the opportunity to revisit the situation. Um, I feel like it's circumstantial. I feel like at this point in their life and at this point in your life, it's perfect timing. So again, connect that however you want. Uh, could have been a missed opportunity. I feel like you're being given a second chance, um, but it's through the the death and transformation of something that happened within them. Uh, so there was definitely, what I'm hearing is major physical uh, transformation. Um, but for others, it could just represent like they got their shit together, basically. Um, and I feel like you're going to be given the opportunity. At first, you may be a little bit like uncertain or unsure if they're being honest or if they're genuinely still interested. Um, but I feel like they will be showing you or revealing to you through actions that they are, in fact, still interested in cancer. Okay, let's see what spirit has in regards to their physical appearance, personality, or characteristics. Allow us to see for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Could be a Scorpio, like I said, could be a Gemini, could be Earth here. We have a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus is coming towards them. Okay. First card is the letter V, the letter C, short again. Oh my God, what are the odds for every sign that card's been coming out? Funny and spiritual. Um, yeah, I feel like they're interested in spirituality. I feel like there is something about them that has, I feel like their perception about life in general has completely changed. Um, so it could be a person that is on a spiritual path or on a spiritual journey or has been on a spiritual uh, journey finding themselves. Um, but they are definitely very witty, very um, funny. The word funny came out, but I, I felt like uh, they're very witty or very smart assy. Um, this is a person that is definitely, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, feisty, feisty is the word. Uh, so this is a person that could be uh, funny, witty, but I feel like their comebacks are very on point, like timing wise. Um, so yeah. All right, my lovelies, let's go to the, all right. All right. Oh, I'm going to put them back. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit guys, please give us insight in regards to the love life of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those that are still, that are single and looking, what's unfolding for them? Who's coming towards them? Give us guidance, allow us to see clearly and concisely. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, who's coming towards them? What's going on in their love life? What changes, opportunities are going to be unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, here we go. 
we have the devil card, the four of pentacles, the two of wands, the 10 of cups, the queen of pentacles and the death card. Whoa, powerful energy, you guys. All right, Leo, you may be dealing with the Capricorn off the bat, as we do have the death, uh, sorry, the devil card here, um, Saturn type of energy, uh, Queen of Pentacles is also here. So I feel very strongly for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing specifically with a Capricorn or a Taurus. Um, I also do see the death card here, Scorpio, uh, maybe dealing with a Scorpio as well. Um, but I feel like you guys have tied yourselves <laughs> Literally, not in the literal sense, I mean, metaphorically speaking, I feel like you've tied yourself to either your business, your finances, your career. Um, it's like a never ending cycle of like not wanting to experience life or not wanting to. I feel like you've been safe or you've been playing it safe, Leo, for a while now in regards to love and romance. I'm hearing that you often say, well, they don't really interest me, or I haven't found someone of substance that interests me. But in reality, I feel like these are just your walls that are up. Um, what they're telling you here is stop being so stubborn, Neil. It's time for you to really put yourself out there. Um, it's time for you to allow that passion that naturally comes within you um, to ignite your curiosity. I feel like you've been missing uh, or you feel like you've been missing the spark. Um, and in reality, Leos are known for being extremely curious, even as early, you know, when you're a child, uh, they're very curious. And, and I feel that that has a lot to do with the passion and, and drive that you have for life. But I feel like for some of you guys, you've been comfortable for quite a while. Um, it's time to bring your guards down a little bit, Leo. It's time for you to Put yourself out there and do things that are not of habit. Um, be a little bit more spontaneous, travel or start traveling or start going to places that you don't normally go to. Uh, there is a need to revamp the energy around you. And yes, this includes stop dating people in your same city, in your same block. Uh, I don't know why this is coming through, but it's like you need to date outside of the bubble that you've been dating for a while now. So put yourself out there, be more open to people from different walks of life. Um, you're not only going to experience new, beautiful experiences, but you're also going to be, your curiosity is going to be ignited. The passion and drive to want to just uh, experience life is something that is necessary at this point. Um, and I do see that there is a connection that will be coming uh, or will be unfolding. And I feel like this person is going to be someone that is connected to a family member. So it could be someone, it could be a friend of a family member or someone that introduces you to them. But I feel very, very strongly like for a lot of you guys, it's going to be someone that your family or a family member knows um, or that knew at some point because I feel like you've never met them or you've never been around them. So it's a new person coming in. All right. Let's see what their characteristics, qualities, or physical features are. We have athletic, the letter P, tall, the letter H, and affectionate. My lovely Leos, I mean, come on. <laughs> athletic, you're definitely going to be physically attracted to this person. Tall, um, I'm definitely sensing a person that their personality is going to be protective. Now, do not misconstrue this to something like uh, jealous or I don't feel like it's jealousy. It's more of a protective type of nature and a very, very affectionate person. Again, the PNH could be their initials, could be their first, last or middle name. All right, my lovelies. Let's get it's funny, we did the Leo reading and all of a sudden talk comes out, right? <laughs> We've been seeing nothing but the short one. That's funny. Okay, Virgos. Let's see what's unfolding for my lovely single Virgos out there. Okay, Spirit Guides, who's the person that's coming towards Virgo in regards to love and romance for Virgos that are single? Okay. We have the Eight of Cups that wanted to come out. 
Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Virgo, you need to walk away from something. You need to either walk away from a person from the past or a situation that has you feeling like you don't know where you stand. That's not going to go anywhere. Stop wasting your time and keep it pushing, Virgo. It's time to really put yourself out there and expand um, expand your social circle. Okay, here we go. We have the devil card. Devil card's been coming out a lot. Four of pentacles, two of wands, seven of wands, and the five of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been stuck in a situation that is very toxic or has become very toxic at this point in time. Four of pentacles, the person that you've been dealing with or that you're interested in is emotionally unavailable. I feel like they verbally have communicated this with you. Uh, it could be a person that just is not looking for anything serious. They're just looking for physical connection or some fun. Um, and what they're telling you here, here at this point in time, it's time to walk away so that you can give yourself the opportunity of finding someone uh, that is more to what they're to what you're looking for. Sorry. Um, Two of Wands is definitely speaking to me about travel. So you may be meeting someone. Uh, in the second or third week of March, I feel like this person is, um, I feel that they're going to be snappy when you first meet them. I don't know why that's coming through. I feel like in the very beginning, uh, initial, initial first impressions, it's like there's something that's going to annoy you about them or that you're going to annoy them. Um, but surprisingly, you, you guys end up finding out that you guys are actually interested in each other. I feel that it could be because you're very guarded and it could be that they themselves are guarded. Um, five of pentacles though, very strongly walk away from whatever is not working. The reason why you're single Virgo or the reason why you've been single for a bit is because you continuously keep allowing people from the past to come back around. Stop doing that. Like at this point, walk away. If, it's, if you're dealing with something or someone and it's just not working out, walk away from it. You're wasting time. Um, five of Pentacles is the feeling of, you know, rejection. So I feel like when, when, someone, or, when someone puts you in a situation of feeling like you're being rejected or like they're not interested, it kind of just pushes you like it even if you're not even interested in the person I feel like the moment you feel like you have to earn their attention or their time it's like you obsess over it and it's like you don't even take a minute to step back and think am I even interested in this person like do I genuinely connect with this person you'll be surprised because I feel like you don't I feel like it's it has something to do with you wanting to prove yourself something whenever you feel like the person is emotionally unavailable. Uh, like I said, I feel like you will be dealing with someone that's coming in. There is something about the getting to know each other. Like you guys are going to seem like you guys are definitely on different pages, but you end up actually finding out or getting to know each other better and realizing that you guys do have a lot of things in common or you view relationships in a, in a very um in sync type of energy all right let's see what are the qualities characteristics or initials of the person that's coming towards virgo yeah virgo walk away from anything that's not working babe like i feel like you're you've been dealing with a situation that's been ongoing or re reoccurring and at this point it's like uh Stop wasting your time. All right. The first letter is the letter U, the letter J, letter Z, letter T, and voice. Wow. You guys are definitely getting initials. Uh, keep in mind, initials could be first, last, or middle name. Um, there's something about their voice that is going to stand out. I feel like this person's voice is very authoritative. Um, it definitely stands out. And what I'm hearing is their laughter. They have a very funny or quirky type of laugh. And I feel that that's definitely what's going to stand out, or it could potentially be what annoys you. 
<laughs> but there's something about their voice that is definitely very, it's going to stand out. It's very different from what you're used to or accustomed to. All right, my lovelies. Oh, all right. Let's go to Libra. Libra, Libra. Let's see what is unfolding for you, Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, drop the card. Give me one segundo. Okay. Libras, my lovely Libras. You guys are always in a dile dilemma. <laughs> Every Libra I know always has a dilemma when it comes to love and romance. You guys need to be more assertive. All right. Spirit guides, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? What can they expect? Who's coming towards them in regards to love and romance? <clears throat> you guys are... I love you guys to party. I love Libra's um, to party. You guys are very social people. Um, but when it comes to dating, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Capricorn, so I don't do good with uh, people that are very uh, back and forth. And trust me, I've dated a few Libras. Let me have a sip of my coffee, you guys. It's been a very long night. I just finished spell work and I was like, you know what? I promised them that I would do singles. So that's what we're doing. But yeah. Have you guys dated a Capricorn Libra? because I've dated a few Libras, and let me tell you, you guys are loving at first, right? But when things get hard, you guys are like, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. It's funny, because I actually, I've dated a few Libras, like I said, but um, yeah, there was a specific Libra that just, it was a very deep connection. Um, and sometimes, you know, timing isn't right. Um, but yeah, one thing that would irk the shit out of me was that they were so indecisive. And being a Capricorn, uh, being a Virgo, you know, part of my big threes, um, I just can't, I can't deal with that. I'm an extremely assertive person. Uh, I do come across as a bit intimidating, I've been told, but I just know what I want. <laughs> Anyways, I did it all the signs, honestly. And let me tell you, I got some tea on all of them. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Libra, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Love and romance. Spirit guides. What's unfolding for Libras and their love life? Who's coming towards them? Romance. Here we go. Okay. We have the Five of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles, the Hanged, what I say? The Hanged Man, Six of Pentacles, Princess of Wands, and the Devil Card. Ooh, are you dealing with the Capricorn? Okay, my lovelies, you may be dealing with fire energy. I see a lot of fire here. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh, for others of you, you may be dealing with a Capricorn or Pisces. Um, what I'm sensing is you guys are extremely stubborn. You guys are stubborn in the sense of you approach relationships or you approach connections um, with such high expectations and high expectations that you're not even able to provide. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, like you have, like, as an example, like you're, if you're a guy, you're looking for like a virgin, right? Um, even though you've probably been a man whore for a long time, uh, or vice versa. If you're a female, you're looking for someone that is loving and innocent, but you're a devil yourself. You get what I'm saying? Like your expectations are just not there has to be some type of grounding, um, some type of grounding in regards to expecting in a partner what you're willing to provide and what you're willing to give. Um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with the situation back and forth. 
um, a situation that is just not, uh, it's not stable whatsoever. For some of you guys, it's having high expectations that it will turn into something serious when they've told you out the door that they're not looking for some type of commitment. Um, however, I am being told that second week of March, you're definitely going to be given the opportunity to go uh, to some type of travel or take a short trip. I feel like for some of you guys, this has to do or is connected with your career or your work. Um, so I don't feel like it's like travel for vacation. I feel like it has more to do with uh, something that's coming up regarding career and finances. I feel like the person that is coming towards you may actually uh, come uh, or you may actually meet this person while you're traveling or while you're taking a short trip. Keep in mind, doesn't have to be like travel, travel. It could just be like you having to go to a different company. I mean, to the same company, but a different location, um, something like that, where you meet this person. I feel like this person is connected in some shape, way, or form to your career or your finances, but I feel like that's not normally where they work or where you work. I feel like it has more to do with circumstance. Uh, as an example, like being told, hey, we need you to cover the location a city or two cities away for like the week or something, uh, that type of energy. However, you can actually meet this person as well while you're working. Um, so as an example, uh, while you're working or they're working, as an example, it could literally mean a person shows up to your house, they knock, it's a guy from FedEx or it's a girl from, you know, I don't know, Amazon or something like that. And the, the, the connection just I feel like it's a physical connection off the bat. So you guys are definitely going to be drawn like magnets. Um, but I feel like there's something that's connected to finances here. Uh, that's if you're not already dealing with the person in the workplace. Okay. Now keep in mind, Libra, if it is a situation that you're dealing with someone in the workplace and that's the situation that you feel like... Uh, they're just not wanting to settle or they're not looking for anything serious. This is definitely not the person they're talking about. Uh, Cause I do see that this is a new connection that's coming in for you guys. So I just wanted to put it out there. Okay. Let's see. So we're starting off here with the letter P athletic, trustworthy, loyal, and curvy. So I feel for men, um, you may be dealing with a woman that is curvy or thicky nicky, you know. Uh, if you are a uh, female, I feel like you're going to be dealing with a person that may be athletic or perhaps sporty. Um, what they're showing me here is that this person is not only trustworthy and loyal, I feel like this person is extremely, extremely um what's the word I'm looking for? They're like extremely, there's something about how they communicate that makes you feel extremely heard, extremely seen, or understood on a very deeper level. Um, because what I'm hearing is finally um, understood. So this is a person that will, that is going to go um, through certain depths of conversation that you've never really, you know, had with anyone else, where there's a feeling of like being in sync or being fully understood. Um, because it's, it's almost the feeling of like, I'm surrounded by this feeling of like, I'm protected, I'm seen, I'm understood, I'm being heard, that type of energy. So it's a beautiful energy, you guys. All right, let's go with Scorpio. Okay. Scorpios. Spirit guides, ancestors, archangels. Who's coming towards Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance? What is unfolding? Oh, 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 oh. okay. What is unfolding for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in regards to love and romance? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
Okay, here we go. So we're starting off here with the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Prince of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you've been stuck in a situation or you've been dealing with a situation that is not going anywhere. At this point in time, it's time to embrace new beginnings. It's time for you to understand on a deeper level how beautiful and amazing you are. Um, and be unapologetic about it, um, especially those of you guys that have been going through a situation where you feel like you're often being the one that needs to put effort and energy towards relationships. Um, I feel like you're going into this cycle where there's a lot of self-love and self-nurturing type of energy that you're going to be embracing. Um, this could be like being more attentive towards your sleep schedule or sleep pattern, this could be, you know, going on a spa, going on a retreat, going on um, even getting your nails done for you guys out there. It could be getting a pedicure. It's like you're putting more effort or more energy towards your peace of mind. And that's coming off as taking care of yourself or pampering yourself. And I feel like when you start to embrace this type of energy, you start to be a little bit more open towards receiving or the receiving of uh, genuine love and attention. Um, I definitely do see that there is going to be a situation that's going to be opening up for you where there is some type of gathering or some type of, I'm hearing game night for some of you guys, um, like a poker or like I don't know what you guys play <laughs> or if you guys play at all, but it's coming up like a, like a night, a night with the girls out or a night with the guys out type of energy type of vibe. Um, I feel like you're going to be, or you're going to be showing up to that place um, where you're going to be introduced or you're going to be um, in contact with the person that's coming into your life. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this could be taking place at night. Um, for some of you guys, I'm getting very strong, like, uh, pull towards bumping or like crashing into someone, um, while you're going up the stairs or while they're coming down the stairs. Um, it may not connect with everyone, you guys, but this is a specific message that's coming through. I feel like someone's in a rush or someone's like trying to get somewhere, um, and you accidentally bump into each other, uh, and, and that's how you first meet. Um, I feel like it's accidental, um, literally uh, bumping into each other. But I do feel like for the month of March, all of you Scorpios out there are definitely going to be uh, embracing or feeling very beautiful. I feel like you're going to be attracting more than the usual um, because there is almost like this regeneration of energy that is going to be raising your vibration. I see you guys like really shining or like people really taking notice of you. For some of you guys, this could be that you start to be a little bit more methodical in the way you dress or you, um, something about the way you dress, um, is going to be changing in the month of March. Uh, so let's see some of the characteristics, qualities, or physical features of the person that's coming towards the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, moon, raising Venus, Scorpio, in regards to love and romance. Okay, so we have the letter I, the letter H, the letter W, the letter B, and mouth. Okay, so off the bat with the Empress card here and mouth, I feel like for the masculine energy, you're going to be um, dealing with someone that has a, like very beautiful lips. Um, stands out a lot or it is like exactly the type that you like something about their lips for others of you it could be that the female that's coming into your life has um like a nunar on their lip or something like something that makes their lips stand out a lot um now for the masculine sorry for the females um i feel like for some of you guys you may be dealing with someone that has like natural girl lips is what's coming through. So it could be a guy that has thick lips or that has, I don't know, something about their lips just stands out. Um, 
for some of you guys, it could be that the guy or the, the man that you're going to be dealing with, um, I see a tattoo like inside the lip. So for some of you guys, it could be a person that has a tattoo on their lip, in their lip, in, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm getting like luscious lips. So I feel like, you know, thick lips is what's coming through. All right. All right, my lovelies. Let's go to Sagittarius. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, what are the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in regards to love and romance? Who's coming towards them? Who's coming towards Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Who's coming towards them in regards to love and romance? What new beginnings or opportunities are going to be unfolding for Sagittarius? <clears throat> All right. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Princess of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, Holy Moly, and the King of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to be really honest with you, Sagittarius. <clears throat> I feel like for some of you guys, you were dealing with a situation where you could have been involved or the person you were dealing with was involved. Um, I feel like something came out to the open and there could have been some type of pulling away only out of fear of rejection. This could be you or this could be the person you were dealing with. However, I do see that uh, in the coming weeks, there's going to be some type of communication that opens up. I feel like they're wanting to make it up to you or they're wanting to, um, I'm hearing I want to explain things to you. So it could be that they're feeling like regretful or they're feeling like they really effed it up with you and they're trying to make it up in some shape, way, or form. Now, that's one situation that's coming through. For others of you, you're coming out of that situation and through, through dealing with some type of deceit, some type of lie, um, I feel like you've realize you don't want to deal with this type of energy and if there was a walking away on your part i feel like there's an earth energy that's coming through taurus capricorn virgo i feel that this person is going to either show up in your life right when you're ready to turn the page on a situation that you've been dealing with for a while um and i feel like this person is coming through in coming through in the sense of they're wanting something stable and they know that they want you Sagittarius like there's no hesitation here there's no mind games there's no and this person is going to be very direct and very to the point now for some of you Sagittarians I feel like this person will be uh will be introduced to you through your mother now, for others of you, it could be someone that your mother approved of in the past or someone that they would have hoped could have come out, like something could have came out of that connection. It's not going to be for everyone because for some of you guys, this is a new person, a new person that's coming in right when you're turning the leaf on a situation that is no longer working for you. But I am hearing for some of you guys it's either a person that is reappearing and it's a person that either your mother or mother figure gravitated very strongly towards or they really wanted you um, to pursue this type of connection with this person. Um, something about the mother figure. Now, it could be their mother that approved of you, Sagittarius, um, or it could just be a mama's boy or a, mother, or a mother's girl, right? Um, but I am definitely sensing that this is a person that, uh, initially for some of you guys, um, there was a mother figure that was really cheering on this connection and it just didn't pan out. I feel like there's a revisiting of that situation. All right, let's see. Let's see what their features are. What are their features, characteristics, personality type, or initials? For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Who's coming towards Sagittarius? We have Tall. 
So this is a person that is tall or someone that is taller than what you're accustomed to, Sagittarius. We have the letter X, the letter H, trustworthy, letter M, and witty. So this is a smart ass person. Off the bat, I can tell you that. Um, I feel like their humor goes hand in hand with their wit. Uh, this is a person that is very, very smart, um, an overthinker. So they can come off if this is a new energy that's coming towards you, Sagittarius. I feel like you're going to be questioning or kind of doubting if they're really interested only because um, they're very, like I said, they're very much into the intellect. This is a person that is methodical and it takes a while for them to warm up to someone. Um, but yeah, you're definitely going to know who this person is, um, because they're just going to give you a sense of, you know, that they are very trustworthy. All right. So let's go to Capricorns. Spirit guides, ancestors, and life angels. Who's the person that's coming towards Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. In regards to love and romance. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in regards to love and romance. Who's the person that's coming towards Capricorn? In regards to love and romance. Okay, here we go. We have the Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Five of Wands. I'm going to be honest, Capricorn. I feel like the person you're going to be dealing with or the person that's coming into your life is someone that is going to initially be very intimidated by you. That's what I'm sensing right away. Five of pentacles indicating to me that there is a feeling of like walking on eggshells or feeling like they can't fully express or communicate uh, because you come off either very strong or you come off as standoffish. And it's difficult for them to kind of figure out if you are feeling them or you're not. They're very much in their head about, I'm going to be honest, what I'm hearing is like they're overthinking even how to talk to you. Um, so be a little bit more inviting Capricorn for the month of March. Be, you know, smile once in a while. Um, be humorous the way you naturally are. Um, but I feel like you guys are very reserved and it takes a while before you feel comfortable to show someone your humor or personality. Uh, be a little bit more inviting only because I do see potential and I'm going to be honest, five of wands indicates to me a lot of people trying to fight for your attention, Capricorn. With the death card, there's a transformation. So for some of you guys, you're moving on from something that didn't work out or you're walking away from something that came to an end or will be coming to an end. Um, the least you resist it, the less you resist it, I should say, um, and you keep it pushing, you're going to realize that you actually have a lot of eyes on you, Capricorn. There's a lot of people that are trying to get close to you. Some of them are intimidated either by your status, by your personality. Uh, others may be intimidated in the aspect of they see you uh, very well put together, Capricorn, or they see you... Um, Something about how you physically look uh, that could be a bit intimidating. Um, but I'm, I'm sensing like there is a specific individual. Actually, no, I see two people coming towards you. You may be dealing with the Scorpio, maybe dealing with fire energy, uh, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo type of energy. Uh, we have air here as well, but strongly uh, fire energy or water energy. I feel like there's two people that are going to be coming towards you that are going to be wanting to like physically pursue you, like actively pursue you. Um, and I feel like one of them is a very well-traveled person. This is a person that is extremely smart. Uh, this is a person that is successful in their career or they've been in the same job or in the same business for quite a while. Uh, this is a person that comes with reputation. And I don't mean in a negative way. I mean their reputation. They're known for something. Um, for others of you, I do see another person coming towards you, but this may be a person that is connected to your past or could have had some type of, you could have like uh, dated them, but I don't see like it was anything serious. It was something casual at some point in time. I feel that they're coming back around 
And it has more to do with something that was left unsaid or undone that you will be given the opportunity to revisit, either to close that chapter completely or to say your piece. Um, but I feel like for others, this person hasn't been able to get over you, Capricorn. And I feel like this is going to be coming out of the blue. You're going to be like, what the hell? Like, I would have never thought that this person would have reached out or, you know, for some of you guys, it could be a person from your past that reaches out to you through social media or through some type of messaging, text or something like that. Um, I'm, I'm seeing a message come up. So for some of you guys, it could be a text, but I feel like it's catching you off guard because for some of you guys, it is in fact through social media. And this is a person that for some of you guys, you've already moved on from. So I feel like it's coming as a surprise because they're going to be pouring their heart out to you. They're going to be like, I couldn't move on from you, Capricorn. I can get over you. Like, I still love you. I still have love for you. That type of energy. And you're going to be like, what? Where is this coming from? Like, because you've been moved on from that situation. So let's look into the characteristics, qualities, or physical features of these people that are coming into your life, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The people that are coming into Capricorn's life in regards to love and romance. Here we go. We have eyes. So their eyes could be something that stands out a lot. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that has colored eyes. Um, and I do have a lot of blue in the background. So for some of you guys, it is a person that has blue eyes. Or like I said, very light eyes. We have the letter T, the letter B. Mouth, independent, short. <clears throat> Mouth, I feel like this is a person that is very mouthy. What I mean by that is it's a person that has no filter. Like they don't hold back when they're like they, whatever they think, they speak up on. Um, that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Just depends on the circumstance. Um, I feel that this is a person that their personality is very independent. So it's someone that if this is a person from your past, it could have been someone that was definitely not looking for anything serious, or it could have been a person that needed space um, or made you feel like they needed space. Um, but it is someone that is independent. Uh, if you're masculine energy, I feel like this is a, a short female that you've dealt with in the past. We're not talking about the one that's coming towards you that's new. Um, if you are dealing with someone that is from the past, I feel that this person um, could have been a short female for some of you guys. Same sex could be a shorter person uh, than what you're accustomed to dating. Or for others of you, it could be that they were, in fact, shorter than you. All right, my lovelies. Let's go to Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Okay. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit Guides, Ancestors, and Archangels, please let us know who's coming towards Aquarius for those that are single in love and romance. Who's coming towards Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, we have a high priestess here. Okay, Aquarius, what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been single for a while and you've been working on yourself, I feel like for some of you guys, you've been trying to manifest or you've been uh, manifesting love around you or calling upon love. I definitely feel like this connection is going to be spiritual. And for some of you guys, this is a person that is already in your life. Um, this is a person that is extremely wise, perhaps wiser um, or wise beyond their years. Um, for others of you, I feel like this is a person that is spiritual or there is a spiritual connection between you and them. I feel like this person will be coming into your life um, when you're ready. Now, this is not to say for those of you guys that, uh, you know, we all say, yeah, we're ready for love. Um, but in reality, are you ready? Genuinely ready. 
Uh, we say, yes, we're ready for love, right? But we're guarded. We have our walls up. We're defensive. Um, <clears throat> and this is based on past experiences. So I feel for those of you guys that are genuinely ready for love, there is a spiritual connection that's coming through for some of you guys. Um, this person, like I said, is wise beyond their years. This is a person that is going to motivate you. This is a person that is going to be a guide um, in a very loving and soul mate type of energy, type of connection here. Uh, this energy is definitely engulfing me, as you guys know. As you guys can see, I'm going on and on about this, and I just pulled one card. Um, I feel like I don't need to pull more cards. Um, however, I will. But what they're telling me here is, for a lot of you Aquarians out there, I feel like this is a soulmate that's coming in. Um, this is the person that you've been hoping or you've been praying for. Uh, for others of you, especially those of you guys that have been at the shorter end of the stick when it comes to love and romance, this is a person that's going to nurture your natural, uh, your natural way of being or your natural um, way of loving. I feel like this is a person that will not hold back in regards to playing any type of mind games or anything like that. This is a very straightforward person. And like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are or have, in fact, manifested this person that's coming through. All right. Oops. Next card here is the Four of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Princess of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Yeah. Um, like I said, I feel like I don't need to go on. Uh, with this reading, because I feel like just with the high priestess, uh, she was communicating everything that needed to come through. Um, but yeah, this is a soul type of connection. This is a person that's coming through that is going to, uh, off the bat, start um, building on a very solid foundation. Uh, this is a person that works amazingly with you. This is someone that has either your same aspirations, the same goals, or see relationships the way you do in a very natural, I feel like it's not forced. I feel like it's going to flow very organically. Nine of Pentacles indicates to me a person that is uh, successful. This is a person that has put in the work the way you have, Aquarius. I feel like they've gone through it as well, and they've healed from past experiences. For some of you guys, this is a person that may have children or may have a child, or you could potentially have a child. Um, and I feel like you guys are going to be each other's rock or solid, solid foundation. <clears throat> Beautiful energy here. Okay, spirits, please give us insight in regards to Aquarius person, their physical traits, personality. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. We have independent, witty, mouth, again, letter P, athletic, and eyes. Beautiful eyes. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, you're going to be dealing with a person that has big, beautiful brown eyes. Um, very, very seductive eyes. Um, independent type of personality, like I said, athletic. Um, I feel the athletic has more to do with the female energy. So for those of you guys that are um, interested in, in females, um, I feel like this person that's coming through may be athletic or sporty uh, or just a person that really likes to take care of themselves. Um, very smart, intellectual type of person here. And like I said, the letter P. All right, my lovelies. Let's get to... Pisces, my Pisces. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, please give us clarity in regards to Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For those that are single, what can they expect regarding their love life? What is unfolding for them? Who's coming towards them? Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. By the way, happy birthday, Pisces. <clears throat> wow, we have the tower here. Okay.
We have Prince of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm getting is for a lot of you uh, Pisces out there that are single, I feel that this person that's coming through is going to be coming through very quickly for some of you guys first week of March um, or second week of March, but I do feel like it's uh, quicker than you actually expected. I feel that it's going to catch you off guard for some of you guys. This is, um, could be Jupiter in your sign. Uh, if you're a female, you guys, uh, when we're talking about astrology, Jupiter is, um, when Jupiter enters your sign, uh, indicates partnership and the partner or person that will uh, be, you know, playing a very major important role in your life, usually your husband, um, if it's for masculine energy and it's a female that's coming through, uh, would be your Venus. So uh, I know Jupiter is still in Pisces. So for some of you guys, it's your Jupiter return. Um, so there is, there's an element of surprise here. There's an element of unexpectancy. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be that you're currently going through a situation that is either very transforming um, you could have gone through a situation of something that has to do with the home. Uh, if you're, you know, if you've recently moved or uh, there is something to do with residency here. Um, I feel that around that time, uh, there is definitely a person that's coming through or that will be showing up to your life, Pisces. And like I said, I feel like it's coming through very strongly and very quickly. So definitely not expecting that or you were definitely not expecting it, I should say. Next card here is the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Prince of Wands. Yeah, definitely moving forward in a very quick and uh, very fast-paced. For some of you guys, this could be a whirlwind romance, uh, which would indicate meeting a person and off the bat being in, like engulfed in the physical attraction, like sexual energy tension being there, sexual tension, I should say. I feel like it's a very powerful connection off the bat. Um, and this person is definitely, you know, they know exactly what it is that they want. This is going to be something that is going to bring a lot of emotional fulfillment to your life, as well as help you stabilize um, or become more stable in your life. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be a Virgo. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a Cancer, uh, Pisces like yourself fire energy. I see all the signs here, really. Um, but for some of you guys specifically dealing with a Virgo, um, I feel like for those of you guys that have been single for a very long time and you came out of a divorce or some type of, you know, separation where you were in a serious monogamous relationship for a very long time, I feel like the person that's coming in is coming in so sudden like you weren't expecting it because what I'm hearing is I'm not ready. I'm just coming out of this situation. Um, but my advice to that Pisces is take on it. You know what I mean? Like give yourself the opportunity to be happy. Give yourself the opportunity. Like there's no time frame when we find the person, like we just find the person, like there's no time frame. There's no, sometimes situations don't make sense. Sometimes it just happens out of the blue and I'm not saying that it's happened over the, just out of the blue, because the tower indicates to me, you've gone through some tra transformation, some major changes or shakeups in your life. Um, but I feel like this person is coming in at the perfect time, uh, regardless if you don't see it that way, or if you feel like it's an inconvenience, or you feel like you have to be guarded because of what people may say, or whatever the situation is, um, fully embrace yourself. And, and give yourself this opportunity. And I say yourself because I feel like you're more tempted to push this person away only because of circumstances, uh, because of what people or family or loved ones may say or criticize. Um, and like I said, sometimes things happen out of nowhere, or it seems like out of nowhere. Um, sometimes we're so stuck in a situation for a very long time that once we give that turn, finally moving on from that, right around the corner, boom, you meet the person that is meant to be in your life. So again, give yourself the opportunity and don't, don't be so guarded, Pisces. Okay, let's see what their qualities or attributes 
her physical features are her Pisces Sun Moon raising Venus coming towards them. Who's coming towards them? In love and romance, give us clarity. Speak to us about the person that's coming in for Pisces. There we go. We have the letter O, independent, eyes again, letter T, letter B, and letter J. Whoops. Sorry. Letter J. All right. <clears throat> Something about their eyes is very comforting. I feel like I feel like their eyes are very compassionate, very loving, very nurturing type of energy here. Uh, we do have independent, but I don't feel that that's their personality. I feel that it has more to do with, um, it has more to do with their way of looking at life. Um, this is a person that everything they have or everything they've accomplished has been based off of their hard work. This is a person that is extremely humble, um, but I feel like they are blessed. Um, so it could be a person that is financially stable or someone that's doing part particularly good uh, in regards to their finances. This is a very, um, I'm getting shy vibes for some of you guys. Um, could be a person that is not necessarily shy, but they could be very reserved. Um, I'm trying to see if I get more information, you guys. Yeah, that's about all that's coming through. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. I hope it gives you insight into what's to unfold. If you guys like these videos, definitely comment below, let us know, and I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.